Hello and welcome back to Horton Hersham. We're here at home today against Hayes and Yedding, looking to bounce back from that defeat on Saturday against Salisbury. Jack, how do you think the game's going to go tonight? Yeah, Brad, I mean, obviously it was disappointing to lose on Saturday, but, you know, we can bounce back. Uh, we've got Alex Kelly back tonight. You know, he's been out for the first month. He'll be a big boost for the boys and, look, I think we can put on performance tonight. And I think on reflection, you know, six games played in the league, four wins, one draw, one loss. Definitely a lot to be positive yeah, about, right? Yeah, and I think, you know, Scott gave it a fair assessment after Saturday. Uh, four from six is not bad coming to a new level and uh, long may it continue. It's true. And as the Black Eyed Peas once said, let's get it started, which we're looking to do tonight. And we'll go straight into the team lineups. <laughs> a couple of changes for the Swans today. Liam Allen in goal with a full back pairing of Alex Kelly, who comes back into the lineup, and Joe Prattley Jones, centre back pairing of Mitchell Goff and Joe Hicks. The midfield pairing of Arsene Oikai and Anis Nur, who also starts his first home start today. An attacking front three of John Gilbert, Stan Flaherty, and Eddie Simon, and Trey Cook is up front. On the bench today, it's Sam Tut, Stefan Illich, Jake Frailing, Ollie Allen, and Riley Wright. PJ. Oh, some brilliant play. Love the play been released. There. Trey's looking for the through ball. Can and Trey cook? And Trey outpaces the six. Can he get the ball in? He's past the six, but Ooh, he's been taken down there. But is that John Gilbert? John Gilbert. Oh. We know he loves doing that from range, John Gilbert. He came so close there. Yeah, it was such a nice play out from the back there. Um, well, oh, the Swans look up for it tonight, don't they? That reminds me of that Ralph Rangnick meme. Oh, lovely Benur. return from Anis there. And brilliant burst of pace as well. Can he slip disguised ball into Gilbert? Gilbert! Oh, it's oh, a good save from the goalkeeper. Yeah, great chance, but he's still got it. According to my sources, just had, oh, I just had a message from Hinge. <laughs> You're on Hinge, are you? Yeah, I've been on Hinge for a while, mate. Oh, fair enough. Although, is anyone listening? My DMs are open. Oh, Trey, can he get a shot Trey. away? He can. Oh. And that's going to make the highlights. Trey Cook. And Bradbury being single. Bradbury <laughs> <laughs> saying his DMs are open. All the highlights are real. And PJ is already on a yellow card. Yeah, he really needs to hurry up with that. Oh, and Hayes. Oh, oh, that's a sexy ball roll. But the Swans winning. Oh, John Gilbert. And Trey Oh, no. What a chance. John Gilbert. Nice little head. Flaherty driving through the middle. He slipped Trey. Can Trey get a shot on target? Lovely touch. Here? Trey. Oh, oh and the crowd celebrating a little bit early there. More like it from the Swans. That's two chances. And Hayes with the cross to the back post, and he's as well. Oh, it is a corner. Can Arson switch? He can. It's now Alex Kelly. This one's really building a building an attack here. Oh, it's a penalty. penalty! It's a penalty! And the right decision as well from the ref. You know, 75th. It's, uh, John Gilbert now. 75th minute in the game. Stadium's gone quiet. Yes! yes! Never John Gilbert! <laughs> and he fixes the post that the keeper's been doing all game, moving that. But John Gilbert with ice cold nerves and embraces the crowd as he did in the playoff final. Goff, lovely first touch. He's going to drive. Gilbert's in a little space there. Majestic. Oh, wow. John Gilbert, can Trey get through? Oh. John Gilbert picks it up. Can he have a shot? Go on, go for the brace. Gilbert. Oh, Gilbert, that was a good chance. Yeah, not enough power. Just tried to curl it in. He should have just gone for power, I think. Maybe shot it across goal. Recycling to Arson. Arson. Arson trying to flick Trey Cook in. Can he? Oh, wow. Oh. Acrobatic. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's another that's penalty. Like it's got to be another oh. penalty. It is. And it's the goalkeeper <laughs> taking out Stefan. Can John Gilbert do it again from the spot to seal this game for Walton? Quick run up. And oh. down the middle. Straight down the middle. And he doubles the lead. Doubles his own tally. And there we go, all the players going over. It's been a game of two penalties, both really in the second half and both dispatched. It's really been such a confident, assured performance from the Swans tonight, yeah. under the lights, in front of a good turnout. And John, there's John again, trying to contribute to defensive duties. 
and brilliant oh, for John. Yeah, That's why he's my man of the match. Work rate and, pa and passion, which is unrivaled. Oh, oh, brilliant from Ixi. El Capitan. <laughs> that that's, sums it up, that is in Yiddin. It did set up for him. And that corner. And there it is. And there it is. <laughs> Another winner home for the Swans. The first clean sheet of the season for the Swans. Lovely. And a short performance from minute one to minute 90. Yeah, brilliant. A big win against a strong Hazen Yedding. Here with today's man, the match, Anis Nur. Anis, you're a new addition to the Swans <laughs> having joined over the summer. How's it been for you settling into the club? Well, I'm, at the beginning, I wasn't getting any minutes whatsoever. Yeah. I was even left out of the squad, but I just had to be patient. I knew being down here was a good opportunity. I patiently waiting and finally got my opportunity. And just had to repay the coaches, really and truly. Yeah, and you started, made your first start at Salisbury uh, mm. on Saturday, then a first home start here. Mm -hmm. How's it been in front of the Swans fans and with the expectation, no, knowing been, that we want to win every time? It's been very, very good, if I'm honest with you. Um, I'm enjoying it, if I'm honest. Even when I was on the bench, I was enjoying it. The boys are good. Coaching is very, very good and would really recommend anyone that wants to play place to be man yeah I'm with you. yeah and finally it was quite a battle out there today obviously a very mm -hmm. gritty game quite physical took until the second half to make the breakthrough was there always that confidence amongst no. the boys that we were going to get that breakthrough breakthrough eventually 100% um, the amount of quality that we have especially with Gilbs Eddie Trey and even on the bench players like Steph and Ollie as well um, there's so much quality in the team and we can easily break a team down yeah, so, yeah. cheers Anis thank you here with the manager and head coach Scott Harris and Billy Rowley. It was another gritty game for the Swans today, but another one where we came out in the second half and really made it count. Yeah, I thought it was a good game. Good game. Uh, we talking to, to Rich, a um, bunch of amateurs before. Um, we were sort of predicting what kind of game it would look like, and we sort of thought it probably wouldn't be your typical Southern League game. Um, you know, Hayes have every intention to, to make it a football match, obviously, like we do ourselves. and. I think it sort of proved to be a good one for people to watch. Uh, first half, especially actually, even though there was no goals, it was a, I think it was a real good watch. Uh, always nicer under the lights. There's a bit of bit of dew on the pitch and the, the ball zipping. Uh, it, it definitely, it definitely helps us when it's like that. Um, and yeah, I thought we were good value at half time to to be in front really. Um, but you know. As we've seen before, when we've got something to go out and achieve in the second half, it tends to bring out the best in us. So, yeah, early on in the second half, we ended up through on goal, I think, a couple of times early on, and the keepers made a couple of good saves, or one or two might have been um, skewed wide, but we were coming, we were coming, and then we actually got into a period where we got a little bit sloppy for sort of 10 or 15 minutes in the middle of the half, and then typically that's when that's when the, uh, the goal come, or the penalty. Uh, so yeah, typical football. I mean, all the time when you're doing this, that, and the other correctly, and we're happy with the way the build-up was, and, and and the rest of it, it nothing come of it. But yeah, I think a massive shift again from from the, the boys after Saturday in the heat and the, the the whole day, the journey, all of it getting there and peeling yourself out of a car to go and put the effort in they did Saturday. And like I said to you glass half full of a defeat that one um, and I think the guys actually come with plenty of confidence tonight and they all wanted the ball and just yeah re really happy with how they played mate yeah and Bill it was also our first clean sheet of the season as well was that very much on the agenda today to make it tighter at the back obviously had Alex Kelly filling in at right back today as well um, wouldn't say it was on the agenda but I think Alex coming into our team naturally shores us up a little bit. He's defensively incredible. He covers so much ground. He intercepts loads. So, yeah, he just adds a lot of sort of security to us back there. Played him out of position tonight. He's not usually a right back, but we felt like easing him in, not going box to box on him, which he usually does. We <coughs> felt like that might just like lower his load a little bit. Mm. But he still ends up making some incredible <laughs> yeah. like underlaps and overlaps. So we had to bring him off sort of 60, 65 in. But he's putting a... He's, Great shift, incredible light from him. He's not, he's not trained. I don't think. How many minutes has he had? Probably half an hour in training all season. Yeah, Throw yeah. him into a game of that level, and he still manages to hold his own. So, yeah. yeah, massive respect to him. And then the back four: Joe, Mitch, incredible. Liam didn't have loads to do, but he helped us sort of like progress the ball a lot. And yeah. uh, PJ solid as ever. So yeah, massive shout out to those guys. And then Arsenal in front. I thought he was he was 
great as well. Yeah, on the note of big shifts, a new addition on his first home start today, Anis Nur. How important was he in the midfield for the Swans yeah, today? He, he offers so much, Anis, in terms of legs and energy. And I actually say to him all game, or definitely at half-time today, I actually tell him he runs too much. And you could see in sort of 80th minute, he's getting cramp and he's a little bit tired and leggy. But he, he loves the ball and he just shows all the time. But yeah. sometimes he could just stand still for 30 seconds and end up getting it and, and break a line. But he's, he's like a ball magnet, really. He just can't yeah. stop chasing it, which, which is great. Sometimes it, it, it frees him up, but... Mm towards the end of the game it shows that he's knackered yeah yeah and Scott finally looking ahead to next week it's the first Saturday without a game this season um, and obviously two massive games down in Hampshire next weekend the first to Winchester um, and the second away to Basingstoke how are we shaping up for those two well off the back of what what Bill was just saying there about Alex in particular um, and a couple of the other guys in there to be honest it's not going to be the end of the world for us to have a little a little blow for a few days um I know we spoke about the cup exit and people get disappointed in it, but you know if we're serious about having a good season in the in the league here, I think it's not going to be the end of the world for us yeah. having having this. Um, and yeah, obviously, like you say, the two games coming up, um, Winchester sort of part two. Um, I don't know what the conditions will be like over there this time. Hopefully, it'll be a dry one and we yeah. can get finished. But they've uh, they've been a been a, a un, very unpredictable team I think so far at the start of the season they've they've had a couple of heavy defeats yet they've had a couple of great great wins as well we have to go there and prove a massive point mm -hmm. because the way that that game went for the 45 or 50 minutes it did on the uh, on the opening day not great mm -hmm. so everyone should have no you know no problem having incentive to go and go and show up for that one and Basingstoke, it doesn't really need uh, doesn't <laughs> really need much. No. no, it doesn't really need much building up that one. I'm sure they'll be looking forward to it as much as we will. But I, I would actually like to just put something here on on record. Let's all just be sensible. Yeah, let's be sensible in the build up to the game and the aftermath, and especially during the game. Supporters, everyone associated with with both clubs, hopefully, can just have a good day. We'll have a good football match, and let's enjoy it because there's no need for anything stupid to go on. It's yeah. It's embarrassing. Mm. Yeah. Another three points for the Swans who consolidate in the playoff spots. We'll be back next Tuesday away to Winchester. We'll see you guys then.